So, hello everybody. Thank you very much for the invitation. <laughs> My name is Sohail, Sohail Karimi. I'm, uh, I'm from Afghanistan. I've been living in Austria for two years, two, two years and two months. Yeah, uh, so I play tabla. So tabla, I've been playing tabla for, for 12 years approximately 12 years so I'm 25 five years old so I started tabla with 13 12 13 so <clears throat> so today we are going to talk about tabla uh, which is a, a percussion or a beat instrument the tabla is an instrument that did um, played in South Asia in different countries, for example, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Sri Lanka, etc. The word tabla came from an Arabic word. It means tab, bedeutet beat. It's de it derived from an Arabic word. It's called tab. It means beat, schlag. Yeah. And uh, it's made from different materials. So it's a, first of all, it's good to say that it's very, a very old instrument. Tabla is about 2,300 years old. It's like, uh, but about the original, origin or source of tabla, the exact history, it's there are different theories. Nobody understands the exact history of the tabla because before tabla, it used to be another instrument. Yeah, so, tabla made from different material, materials. So it plays in, in different uh, type of music, folk music, traditional and classical music. So mostly uh, in these types of music. And today you see that the people play it also with orchestra, it developed and Extended around, and everybody played in different in different countries. Also, Western music, combination with different uh, other types of music. So, materials, skin. It's from goat skin, mm -hmm. steel, wood, and siahi. This is siahi or the shahi. There are different uh, different names for it. And it's very, it's the main part of the tabla. The sounds come actually from this material. Mm -hmm. And it's a long process of making this material. They mix different things in order to make, the different materials in order to make this siahi. I don't know if you're familiar with gap. Gap is so, flour, water, and iron fillings. When you saw steel or iron, you get very, very tiny materials. Then you mix it with flour, wa water, and everything, and you make it. It's a long process, and it, it takes a long time to make it. Before tabla, was an, there was another instrument. It was pakawaj. Pakawaj is about 2,000 years old. And still, it play, it, people play it in India, South Indian especially, uh, different types of music. And in 18th century, uh, tabla have invented. So, they took this instrument from Pakauj, actually. The original instrument was Pakauj. That, that, that means they, they, they made or they invented tabla from Pakauj. Right. This was first, uh, first of the basic instrument, like a very, very famous beat instrument in South Asia. And afterwards, they, they, it was like, like the whole, not, not a pair, but one, just one a single instrument was it. it. Used to look like that. Met with each other, with, with, each other, with two different parts. 
So, Pankawaj had no CIE or Shahi. Not outside, but afterwards they made it inside, from inside. The same like Doholak. Doholak is also a beat instrument, a traditional, which is, uh, it sounds a little, a little different than tabla, but it's still very close with each other. They're also they used in, in the same fields of music. So, this was the history of the tabla. Yeah, it, these different materials, so, how to play tabla? Tabla has its own language. Tabla has different alphabets. So with language, you can create rhythms. Different types of rhythms with, with the letters of the tabla. So that means you gotta learn it fundamentally. Like, like, like you gotta know the theory of it. You gotta know also also to 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 know the different improvisations, combinations, and stuff like that in order to create a rhythm. The only challenge or the tactic of playing tabla is focus or concentration and with finger. Tabla played with finger. That means you need much, much energy and power in order to have the right sound of the tabla. So, there are two parts. This part called bayan. Bayan is as a bass, it sounds like, like this. And this is daya. There are different theories, people you, call it also. Well? All right. It's also known as male and female. Mm -hmm. This is also kind of uh, idea of song. So, actual names that they put for the tablet. Uh, uh, some other people are an idea that they say it can be male and female because it sounds it, it sounds like that when you really concentrate. It's, uh, it comes such as the sounds. So different parts of the tabla. So now you know how the what's how they make the tablet from which materials how many parts of the tablet? Also, there are two other, like tiny, uh, very little parts of the tablet. Baby powder. It's used. They're very interesting, kind of funny. It's used for the fingers because uh, when you play, uh, yes, some some. It's, it depends to the people. Some people during when when they play. I mean, during playing, they get uh, their hands or their fingers are sweaty, and in order to to be a little smoothy, they gotta use baby powder in order to that the fingers move quickly on the tablet. This is the only reason that they use baby powder. Otherwise, no. There is no, no connection with the sound or stuff like that. It's not also very important. Many they don't use it. And also a hammer. <laughs> with a hammer, you can tune the tablet. Mm -hmm. Tablet is the only instrument, like a beat instrument, that you have to tune it. Only tuning 
like without tuning, you're not able to play. You can play it, but you broke the law, the rules of the tablet. In different uh, scales or in different uh, keys, you can tune the tablet. For example, C, C sharp, D, D sharp. I hope you're familiar. I, I, as far as I know, you're familiar with these things because you're supposed to be all music students or familiar <laughs> with music. So, how to tune a tablet? You don't tune biom, you just tune diom. Because biom, you don't need to. You can, you can, you can stretch it a little bit to, to make it tighter. Or, or an opposite of it, but you don't, need, you don't have to tune it. It doesn't need to be tuned, actually. But because they dominate, which one plays a, a very, like, which one is, they're both together. There is no question that this one is important, this one not. Without any of it, the tablet is not a tablet. So it's a combination, it's a pairs, an instrument with two pairs. So, they both are important. Both of them dominate. On both of them, you play. You improvise, you play rhythm, whatever you do, you gotta use both parts of the tablet. There are pieces of woods here. You press them up on top and down, up, down. So, in this case, you can tune the tablet. Mm -hmm. And this is the way of tuning the tablet. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, and mostly, you need also from this part of the tablet, which is grunt. From this part, you also, you gotta tune it. Mostly, it doesn't reach to the exact scale that you, you're trying to tune it. You gotta hit a little bit. Just not on a rope, but here, in order to be more tighter. Now I'm trying to see if my tablet is really tuned. All rounds should supposed to have the same sound, otherwise it's out of tune. For example, I do, I, I want to make an out of tuning, like on purpose. Now it's a little down. Do you feel the difference? Thank you. <laughs> now, from this part, again. Different ways of tuning the tablet. Most of the people they have a, a, a kind of device, like it's like technology. They made a device that specialized the same like a guitar to play the tablet. This is one way. The second way is to many people they have the feeling. They listen and they distinguish the sounds. They can recognize it pretty well, the, how it sounds. They can tune it. They are used to it. They are kind of professional musicians. They, are, they play, like a kind of example, for, for more than four decades. That they, they can tune in this way. Otherwise, it is very difficult. Now it's tuned. So I am also I'm one of the people I'm trying to tune with myself and my feeling because in this way I it's 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 more trustable for me. I can trust on it that it's really tuned or not. With a device with a device it's 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 like it's not exactly right for me to tune it with a device. So I should change it.
and there are two rings. The rings are for uh, for stability of the tablet. The tablet doesn't move because sometimes you have a very deep feeling and you you play very very fast, and <laughs> it, it's possibly the tablet can move and go all around out of control. <laughs> so. Sounds dire, different sound. Tabla is a complete beat instrument with different sounds and with different techniques. Different reads and rena you can play. This is the sound of bina. So now you gotta combine these two in order to have the rhythm. Otherwise, with wood one, it's impossible. Even if you try to just there is no sound. Also, it's very, very. It's not. It's not the the right sound of the tablet. You're not complete without any of this part. So, alphabets of the tablet. There are 12 al alphabets. Eight alphabets are single. Just, you, there is just single alphabets. You don't combine. It means it's a single alphabet, it's a combine. So, now, tack. Combine these two. For example, I just played na and ge. Na plus ge is da. Is it okay? Do you feel it? Da. Or dun. Or dak. Or det. Or din. Now you play and learn in different, different ways and different. So, whatever you play, you gotta understand what you play. You gotta understand each bold or now we say what is the question is what is bold? Bold. So we have tall, bold, and light. Tall, bold, and light. Three important elements or factors of the tablet. That you follow always these are fundamentally the the, 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 the the way that you play or, or, or what you play are dependent to these three things. You follow always whatever you play, you're inside these three. So tal is read. Tal is read. It means it is the language of tabla. I know it, it sounds uh, like kind of unfamiliar for you guys. It's a very new word, but it means read. It's, it's also a kind of like special language, a very, very old language of tabla. Mm -hmm. It can also be in a Hindi language, tabla. Bull is letter. Like this is a bull. This is a bowl. Lay is the accent of playing. That you play the accent, like the, the movement, the, the how you play. It can be also tempo. It's accent of playing, waves of playing. Or the way of demonstrating tall. This is like how a tall runs, how a tall Cool. This is le. Timpu also a part of it. So 
So we can say lay is tempo. Ball, letters, tall, rhythm. What is tall? Cycles of beats of specific syllables. Cycles of beats. So you have, may I clean it? Turn the rest. You don't need it, right? Mm -hmm. So now we have, as we said, Tabla has its own language. Whatever you play, you have, you gotta follow the procedure. You gotta follow the alphabet of the Tabla. You gotta play, even you gotta memorize whatever you, whatever you play. You can also, you're supposed to amuse a Tabla player, supposed to know each note that he plays. One by one. This is a, a famous Tabla, is 4-4 four, four. Or, or in German it's a 4 4 two. You, oh, you heard that right? <laughs> Familiar, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Karma is an Indian. Like, not Indian, it's yes, mm. South Asia. Mm -hmm. They all say, we also say Karma in India, in Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Nepal, all around the countries. They call it Karma. It's a very, very famous read. Tala, yeah, and many, many compositions, and many songs, and many, many different, uh, many other well, musics, uh, many pieces with different uh, types of music, or played on with this Tala. So you say Da, <coughs> how you say? This is beat. It's called, the first letter of it, beat, it's called Sam. Sam is You know, beat is a specific, specific cycles of beat. How you see? Kara is eight beat. It's eight beat. Eight cycles of beat, eight round, cycles round. It goes, it's a start from eight, then come back to eight. Regularly. Each, each round has eight balls. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Well, this is like in this way. This is beat, the first letter of it is B. Now the, the challenge is, you gotta know, you gotta control the rhythm. I mean, whatever you play, it's, it's, it's clear, right? Yeah, rhythm should be should have the same tact. Each skill that you play, you gotta have the source of it, the main rhythm, you gotta control whatever you do, you improvise, you change it, you play double of it, triple of it, four times of it, but you have the beat. You gotta have it. You see, a very good sign is with, with some singers they play, they have the rhythm, different, the various ways. Some of them they have with their head, some of them, so some of them with their feet. They control the rhythm at the same time and they read, they sing. This is da 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 da
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Okay, what's that say? This is, you have now, 8 bits. And you, <coughs> in this, I mean, inside this cycle, you can com improvise, you can combine, you can do whatever you want. But the challenge is you gotta have the rhythm, you gotta control the rhythm, you gotta have the first beat. Sum, it's called sum. Sum is the beat, the first. This is tone of tal. This is this is to say from this part you start a tal. This is first beat. It goes sort of like circulation and it comes back. You play eight cycles. So <clears throat> First I play some some letters of the tabla that you know and after that I, I play this tabla. <coughs> Everything you play, you gotta know what you play. Somebody is disturbing. You wait. So <coughs> now you play Kerba. The first letter and the most important one. Why it's very important? Because you start reading from this point and you gotta come back in this point. Whatever you play, you gotta do it. So da 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 The second challenge, whatever you play, you gotta you gotta whatever you say, your fingers should say the same thing that you say. That's in sounds with me? Is it okay? Whatever I play, you also hear it from the tablet. The same thing what I say. I hope it doesn't change during play. Now I go to different improvisation and different, but I have the rhythm.
Now we are going to play, to have a, a, like a, a very short uh, performance for you guys in order that you know how, how everything works, how you combine, mm -hmm. how we connect with each other. Mm -hmm. We don't even talk with each other. So music, it's music, it's, there is no border. So your music has always the same language if you think generally. There is no difference between it. It can be different types of music: pop, rock, classic, country. Different types of music. Everybody has a his, his own, you know, his own uh, way, his own types of music that he listens stuff like that. But it's almost, if you generalize, then it's it, you just came back to the same point: music. I can also play with rapper because when we say fear fiddle or four four, this is four, this is fix. You play it always. You follow the theory, you learn it like that, you keep playing. That's all about music. That's all about beat. That's all about percussion. So now we play something. Here, yeah? Frage bis hier. Everything okay? I play Kerva for you with melody and I improvise. So one shortly I want to tell something about improvisation. As good as well. See. Back in the days, like before two or three generations, the people used to teach improvisations. For the teachers for the students. Improvisations, not not really improvisations, sorry, they used to teach compositions. Directly, it used to give composition. Now, see, this is composition. It doesn't matter if it was new or if it was old from someone else, or he created, or he made it, or he combined it, whatever. They used to give com compositions directly. Nowadays, you gotta buy, you gotta pay for it. So, it was a different way of teaching. So, nowadays, it's, it's completely changed. Like, in how, when was it 20th century? Somebody by the name of Hazrat Edayat Khan, 20th century. So the tabla was the same. Tabla used to play as a subordinate accompanier or player. It was, it was not always on the stage, unfortunately. Back in the days, a long time ago, or this a century, it used to be as a subordinate instrument. Not, not like if somebody is with harmonium, he was the main point, main focus of audience. There was, of course, if there was any tabla player or somebody, it was like a, not main, but a subordinate. It was like, like a, even not half of music. So you could, if you were in a concert or something, I just heard it from some, some maestros, if you were in a concert, so you could hear a, a beat, sounds of beat, but you could, were not able to see the player of it. So now it's, it's completely changed. Somebody by the name of Hazrat Inayat Khan, he created all mm -hmm. theory, method, letters, everything of the tablet in 20th century. Is it played as a solo instrument? No. It is also solo instrument. Okay. It's it's played just tabla now. Okay. And there are many, many, many followers, many people who are interested to 
it also played in, in orchestra yeah. nowadays. Someone by the name of Ustad Zakir Hussein Khan. He's a very, very famous tabla player. He brought tabla from India and he introduced it. Now it's a well-known instrument he introduced. Of course, many other people, they try to struggle to, to, to catch the tabla, to, to, mm -hmm. to introduce tabla as a main instrument, and they did it. But Zakir Hussain Khan is a very good example because he brought the tabla from Asia to Europe to America. To he played in 2014 in in, in Vienna, mm -hmm. and he he brought he has his, his own band, and it, it's kind of a very 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 changing. It's something it completely changed. You see that people play just tabla. I mean, the other instruments, like if harmonium, now I'm talking about the tabla, as you see, just about the tabla. Of course, we are going to talk and say something about harmonium, but now it's kind of solo. He is going to play a, a melody, and I'm going to improvise. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, now, the kerwa. Now we play kerwa. Yeah. <laughs> Just he plays a melody and we and I follow. He follows me actually. <laughs> Sorry to say that. <laughs> I go. Yeah. Because it's hard. And, after, and, and next one, I follow him. He plays harmonium. After a short briefing of harmonium, a short introducing of harmonium. <laughs>
up for a very, very It's actually a song, like a very famous song, a very famous uh, old composition of uh, in, in Afghanistan. Uh, regarding the country or something. But, uh, so as we said, we played, I played first carol. And after that, I, I didn't play just even two rounds. And then I went to other, uh, other things, other pieces. Just improvise in different ways. You can improvise. So, everybody can improvise. You cannot teach how to improvise. You can just say the guidelines of it. Just to, 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 to guide someone. This is the way of improvisation. But you cannot transfer what you have to someone else. If you're asking to, to, to teach how you can improvise, I cannot say that. There is no method, there is no manner, there is no way to, to just to... One person is not able to copy the other improvisation of other, the other one because everybody has his own, his own, uh, you know, improvisation, his own style, his own. Everybody has it improvised in different ways, also in harmonium. So now, how to um, about harmonium? This, the, to in order to make it a little clear for you guys, it's not only about the tabla. Sounds. If you if you listen to opera music, everybody has a different way, a different tone, a different melody, a different uh, type or kind of sound, different ways, different accent. So now look at harmonium. How harmonium? How is with 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 voice? Of course, you can improvise with your voice. Please. I take a break. <laughs> I deserve it. <laughs> I hope you are not nervous. Stop <laughs> These are all human like me, you. No, no, no. I know no. that this is Don't my first time to be a first and uh, okay, go ahead. I have the, the, the uh, language problem. Doesn't matter. So I try to. Me too. I try my best. And this is uh, this called this instrument uh, harmonia. Uh, I write. Yes, sir. Just order. Yes. Thank you. It's a melodical instrument. Uh, it's also come from India, but. Uh, uh, it's a very um, old uh, instrument, but it is uh, not usually 100% uh, from uh, uh, English, South English music. So it's coming uh, uh, yeah, the, 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 the artist, they, they say they say it's come from, from a guardian, like a guardian that looks like a guardian, then they develop it. Uh, so and it's, it's played with the fingers, and it's... it's uh, 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 it works with the with the air, air and the fingers, and it, yeah, it's made from. Yeah. Uh, it has also own language and music. That so like uh, uh, say deha. It's, it's this in Western music and pop music and, and uh, classical Indian music or uh, 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 it's called sare gamata. Yeah. A raga, it's like a raga. It's a raga is different, it's like combining different melodies in order to have a raga. Mm -hmm. Raga, like this is so. We have the raga and we play different ragas in harmonia. Ten tot. Tot is like the, the main raga root. And from tot it comes different ragas. And from ragas, on according to ragas, 
with movements of rather, with melody or with sound of rather, you create compositions. As far as you don't know anything about raga, you cannot create composition. The composition comes from raga. It's a way of composing. It's just an example way. But raga is uh, a set of different melodies. This is raga. Right now. <laughs> This is a the, in, in, harmonium. Is, is, it's, it's not it's not usual to to just play as a solo instrument mm -hmm. in, in India. Also, even in, there are just like rarely you can see you you American you see it's yeah at this point is mentionable to say that that harmonium is just to it's like a a companion, it's a company, the singer or vocalist, mm -hmm. mostly is like that. But there are just a couple artists or masters that they play harmonium as a solo. I don't know what they do. And it's a different, different the way of playing, or they can also play as a solo. But not usually, it's not like a very, very uh, instrument to play just solo, to, to just with a tabla, or of course you can have uh, improvisation, different combinations, compositions, different melodies, ragas, to yeah. But you, it's not really a solo instrument. This harmonium is used to be played. It's like like a guider, mm -hmm. a leader for a vocalist in order to let the lead or, or vocalist find his ways. It's a kind of leader. You. So, for example, here you have theory, you know, you have the knowledge of melody. It's a melody is familiar for you. You're trying to play an harmony. It, it completes the actually the, the music. It's a, it, it, it brings another atmosphere. It's, it's, it's something that full of melodies, you know, like accordion. You see, it's very usual that you see many people, they sing that accordion. And if you go to underground, you see something in Vienna, for example. He plays accordion and singing. If he just plays accordion, it's not very remarkable. You don't feel it like really like an artist. If you combine these two, that makes music. This is a point that you go through in music. Mm -hmm. Usually it's going to be played in, in, in Sufi music, Ghazal and classical music. Classical, Sufi, every type of music you can It's a complete uh, <laughs> melodical instrument. So we can also improvise with it. So how, how, you, how you control yourself with harmonium? Majid is, is going to show you how you improvise, how you control, how you go. All of the way. it can be other types of music all around the world. Before you're starting with a song or something, it's usually it's very, very um, 
famous and it's very important with classical music or with Ghazal music. Different types of music in uh, Middle East, also in South Asia, around. But you have uh, folk music, classical, Kawali, Ghazal, and different uh, other types of music, traditional, can be. He it's a starter. What does mean a starter? He started with a raga. Which raga you you? Bayrami. Bayrami is a raga. Yeah, Bayrami. It's a rock. What is a rock? We already said it's a set of melodies, different melodies, an exact chart. This is raga. It's like a package of melodies. Of course, you can mix also different notes with each other in order to make it a little to it that it sounds better and nicer. You can do your free. But before you start, it's very, very, very important. Uh, classical, Indian classical, or uh, South Asian classical music that you start with Allah. Allah means you introduced Raga. This was Bhairavi. Now I understood. I feel that it was Bhairavi. And he, and what he, what's the next step? He sings something in Bhairavi. When he did Allah with Bhairavi, so he's, he, he, he have to choose something in Bhairavi. Not to, to do it with a different Raga. There are more than, it's like unlimited Ragas, uncountable. How do you choose, sorry? How do you choose which raga you take, um, or is it, is it, um, does it depend on what on you compositions? Move you want to? Oh, okay. It depends on. It's if you go very deep and if you if you talk in details and with many descriptions and stuff like that, it depends on time of the day. Okay. Which time is which raga is reasonable is reasonable or or suitable for which raga? What time is it now? For Six. example. Six. Six o'clock. Now you can, I'm not a singer, but I can imagine or I can guess. So that now if you sing something in party or coffee, mm -hmm. wouldn't be a bad, bad idea. But it is, it is not, must be, so. It, it's not very, very uh, obligatory, it's not yeah. obligation, it's not uh, something very, very, that you must do it. But it's as as I said, it's just in, in your in your mood, in your how you feel. But the the result of many many years of in classical music, this was the result that they said. Each time you have, they they, they kind of they, it's a classification of ragas and time. It depends to time. So you have a classification. You have like a a meta theory of for it. So now it's early in the morning, you're gonna sing something in Bhairav. Bhairav is a raga, the same like Bhairav, but with different keys. Mm -hmm. It's, 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 it's a raga, set of melodies, exact melodies. Bhairav is a, a different, again, something else with a different atmosphere, with a different uh, notes, with a different sound. Mm -hmm. This was wrong. You can improvise with it. Mm -hmm. I can also allow, but I make it different. It's impossible to, it's, it, it, of course you can copy from someone, but you cannot do exact thing what he does. Everybody has his own uh, way of uh, improvising or presenting something. In Bahiravi, he, I mean, he, he sings different and he makes a lot different, he starts, it starts completely different. I, if I take harmonia, I starts completely different. It's still, we are in the same raga, in the same chart, the same uh, area, same notes, but I do it different. That means the result that we get from our speech is, or from our uh, describing explanation, is that everybody has its own way of improvising. 
it doesn't matter if you improvise with guitar, with harmonium, with tablet. You can also not teach improvisation. You can see the guidelines, and everybody has his own improvisation. So I myself, I, I, uh, I've been inspired, depressed, and uh, yeah, with, with different music musicians. So it's like, uh, like, uh, like a feeling that you, you're trying to find your own way to go through it. In music, you cannot play like, yes, just with techniques and everything. But you gotta have the feeling of it. You gotta connect with the audience. This is, this is all about music. It's a very the main point of music. So I've been depressed with um, an influence and a very bit, bit with, from lots of musicians in the world. Some Western musician and Eastern musician. These things are uh, makes you to 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 find your own way. I would say it doesn't matter what you play, how you play, but you gotta have your own style. Do I have my style? I don't know. Maybe yes. You can record something. You can have a, some achievements. A period of time you can. Of course, you can, you can have regular achievements every year, have an album or a CD or something. But is, this is a question that whether the people or the audience enjoy from your music or not. Whether you, you are really, they know you by this name. I'm, it doesn't matter if I'm really a famous or not in my country or in Austria, I'm living here for a short time this time, these things, but you know that how I play it. Probably you listen to someone else in the next couple of months, next couple of years, next couple of centuries. And you you and you will you will remember me. So you will feel the difference. How he played, how I played. Everybody has his own style. I played by cello players uh, here, we. So I I feel it really that it's 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 he plays in a different way. He plays in a different. Beethoven had his own compositions. It was on the style. Mozart, he has in all his own compositions. You see, once they start, you you recognize. Oh, this was from Mozart. The same thing. You know, Everybody has his own hands and his own way of playing. So now we, we play together, he sings and I play in order to, to stay a memory in your <laughs> Okay. This time we play um, uh, six beats uh, rhythm cycle with uh, right, it's six beats, it's called Dada. And if you play with uh, what you call for six beats, you say six beats. Mm -hmm. who, is mu who is professional musician? Musical? Musician? <laughs> you. So if you're. Six beats. It depends where you put the accent. It depends where you put the accent. Yes. So, for example, the first beat is the accent. But at the same time, you gotta you gotta have the rhythm, right? Mm -hmm. It's a cycle beat. It's rhythm. The same like a clock. This is rhythm. Beats of heart is a rhythm. This never goes like irregularly. They're all regular. The time is okay. So if I ask you what <coughs> six beats, how you how you describe it how you define it for me for is it a, a, doesn't matter if you know the language of it or you can you can you can show me how is six beats I mean every six beats you have a downbeat and this is the standard and then it depends how you distribute the accents in the cycle like you can do yeah or they are two different rhythms. Exactly, so with different beats. accents, yes. with different... Oh, okay. So, the first one, for example, was... This first one, the accent, but I, I think it was the first. Here. Yeah, this, this one is the same, 
because the accent is, I think, in the first, uh, first act or the mm -hmm. last act. First. first. Yeah. So this is the same six beats. Now I play six beats in different ways. And you see how we play. This is our six beats. This is our traditional. Doesn't sound bad. Let's try it. That is. This is volume bed six beats as a classical. Then you go double of it.